Well, welcome. Today I am going to share with you how to get to the Ellenville Buttermilk Milk Falls. Now that's not to be confused, as it always is, with the Spring Glen Buttermilk Falls, which if we were to turn right here, we would be on 209 going south and that's how you would get to them. I'm actually on the junction of uh, Route uh, 52 in Ellenville uh, on Canal Street, which is basically Route uh, 52. And uh, to my right, immediate right is gonna be the Stewart Shops. And uh, obviously in the far corner over there is the Bank of America. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna head east now on 52, just until we get outside of Ellenville. And I'll show you where the falls are and how you get back to them. So we're heading out and we're just literally gonna take this about half a mile up out of Allenville, then we'll park and hop on over to the falls. They're very easy to miss because they are tucked uh, all the way back in uh, South Gully. Or is it North Gully? I can never remember. I'll figure it out. And what you can also do in terms of parking is up by this little blue house, there's a left turn onto Berm Road. And immediately you make the left turn, you'll be seeing Berm, Berm Park. Uh, sorry, Berm Road Park. You can actually park in there and then come back and walk up on the sidewalk here uh, to the falls. But uh, seeing as I'm a lazy bugger, I usually uh, just stick the car up here. So this guardrail up here is the start of the bridge that goes across the uh, gully and that's where the falls are tucked back on. So uh, what I'm gonna do is just go past the intersection here with uh, Main Street, which is also Route 52, and just beyond this bridge here. I'm gonna hang a right right here on Chapel Street. And there's a fire hydrant over there, but I think we're okay. And we'll literally just dump the car here, get out and head back over, and I'll show you where it all is. Right, so here I am parked just at the top of uh, Chapel Street here. And uh, this here actually is in fact North Gully. And now that we're facing this way, you can see the falls and you can see actually how far back they are actually tucked back from the road. So if you're whizzing by, which you shouldn't really be because it's 30 miles an hour here, um, yeah, it's very easy to miss. So all we need to do is we just need to come around and hop across 52. And yeah, need to be a little bit careful because it can get quite busy. And all we need to do is just to head for the Welcome to Ellenville sign. And there are those bad boys up there. Very beautiful. So let's go for it. <laughs> Told you. Sorry, mate. Okay, so here we are. Welcome to Ellenville. And we just hop over the little guardrail here. And you are legally entitled to be on here. It's not uh, private property or anything. And just make our way back through the little underpass here. Now, I'm not 100% sure of the history, but as you look back, where there's some big stone abutments, I think this was all part of some big waterworks at some point. And yes, indeed. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, probably the first thing you're going to see is that some snot gobblers have got back here and uh, decided to uh, tag every bloody rock they could see. So, have to avert your eyes. So, hello, this looks new. So we'll just have to scoot around here. A little bit careful at the edge here. It is quite a long way down, but beautiful clear waters. Again, that's where the road is. And we just head on up. Now you get to a point here where you can find right tucked in against this abutment here. It's a little pathway down here. But you can get down but I would if you are going to head down into there I would exercise a lot of caution particularly if the rocks are, are wet and even if they're not wet they can be very very slippery because I found out to my cost once ah oh, nice bit of rubbish here mm -hmm. so yeah so little steps just down here on the abutment put the angle down here so you've got to be careful So uh, yeah, there she is, that's Buttermilk Falls. Now, like I say, depending on how 
fast the water's flowing or how shallow it is. We've got a good pair of uh, wellies on. You can get out across here. And just pick your way up here. All right, there's the road. There we are, picking all the way up there. Now, right up at the top there, is what I call the bridge of death. And what we're going to do is, we're going to go back just along the path and I'll show you the trail that goes all the way back up the top, take you right over uh, along North Valley, but takes you up pretty high. All right, just popping back out to our welcome to Ellenville side and we'll just hop the guardrail and keep uh, bearing right. We don't need to <laughs> pop the guard up, we just walk through, keep it safe. Right, just take a right here onto what's known as uh, Ice, Ice Cave Road. Now, this actually is a private road, well, it's private houses on it, but if you do follow it up far enough, it actually uh, becomes part of the uh, Smiley Carriage uh, Way Trail that you can also access out of Burn Park. Now, it's steep, so by this telegraph pole here, instead of bearing round to the left, literally just keep going dead ahead. This is the trail that will take you up high above uh, North Gully, but it does flatten out towards the top. It is pretty steep for the first quarter of a mile, and oh look, there's somebody coming down. So much for this being a hidden jewel. They must have seen my videos. <laughs> Oh, what are they up to? Actually, they're heading their way up. So literally, at this point, if you just keep heading on up, you'll come to the Bridge of Death. In about, I would say, maybe three quarters of a mile, you'll come to this incredible um, little bend and rock formation on the uh, on North Gully that I call the Grotto, um, but it's known uh, to locals as uh, the Giant's Footprint. And wonderful circular iridescent rocks that have been formed by the water. It's steep up there, but uh, it's a good workout, but no problem. And uh, I think once you get to the Bridge of Death, um, which you can cross by the way, I'm just me being stupid, quoting Monty Python, uh, just keep uh, following the trail up and uh, say so you'll come to the grotto and uh, all kinds of fun. So there you have it folks, that's the Ellenville Bucks of Milk Falls and uh, thanks for watching. And uh, we'll chalk that one off our list and I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao for now.